hello what's up ali here and uh, today we are going to find solution for the errors that we encounter every time we um we update our ps3 so if ever we're getting the issue like uh, the um the storage could not be detected or an update data could not be found or you are getting an error message uh, while updating your ps3 well this video is definitely for you okay so uh, first let us start with the requirements what does uh, your ps what does your usb needs uh, for it to be detected by your ps3 because uh, before we uh, proceed to the update file we have to make sure that our ps3 can detect the usb so we need uh, two things for that first the usb has to be on fast 32 and it has to be on the mbr partition so if ever you are wondering why can't my ps3 detect my usb even though it is on fast 32 then most probably it is on a wrong partition so how can we um, change the partition of uh, the usb well the easiest way to change the partition of the usb is by using the win32 disk imager so i will just leave a link on our description where to download the win32 disk imager and also we need the blank image file all of the links that we need can be found on our description so be sure to check it as well so after you have downloaded all of the files just run the win32 disk imager and on the device click here the drive that you wish to format then on this part click here the zz blank image file and just click on write this will format your usb thumb drive even external hard drive and reset it to mbr format and once you have format the drive just format the drive again on any format what's important is we change its partition to mbr and once we have done that we can go ahead and run our fast 32 formatter now if you are using an external hard drive you can use a fast 32 formatter here on the physical drive just click on the drive that you wish to format to fast 32 click on initialize uh, i'm sorry i won't be able to do this because this is a working drive for me and uh, always make sure that before you do this you'll have uh, to back up all of your uh, all of your files because uh, this will wipe out your drive or your usb thumb drive or your external hard drive so make sure you have a backup of all of your important files before you format them and this uh, application will format your hard drive to fast 32 so what if you have a usb thumb drive for that you will have to use the gui format again all of the links are in our description so we're going to use drive e then just click on start if you see that error that the drive is being used by a different uh, program just uh, unplug and plug it back in then uh, just click on start again after that just close the program then you can just uh, click the drive and you will see that it is now on fast 32 for that we'll have uh, to create a folder on the root of the hard drive and name it ps3 and inside this folder, we'll have uh, to create another folder naming update. And inside this update folder, we'll have uh, to place uh, the update file that we are going to use for the PS. Now let us go ahead and uh, transfer the update file on the right folder. And we have uh, to make sure that we have uh, this exact file name. So you have to carefully check that you are using this file name. Otherwise, your PSD could not or will not detect this update file. Now we have uh, to check if our PS3 can now detect uh, our USB. Going back on the PS3, go to the video part or the music or the photos and make sure that you will see the USB device. So again, if your PS3 could not detect your USB, make sure that uh, it is on FAT32 and also on the MBR format. So once your PS3 can detect uh, the USB, let's go ahead now and go to the system update choose update via storage media and your ps3 should detect the update here but if ever you are getting some issues that you are already on the latest update or no update could be found then that is a time where you will have to use the safe mode to update the ps3 to do that to go to the safe mode hopefully you can still see this so just turn off your ps3 once the led power is on red Hold the power button. Don't let go of the power button until it goes back red again. 
Now once it's uh, back to red, just press and hold the PS button again. And wait for the fourth beep. There. So once you heard the fourth beep, just uh, let go of the power button and you will be on the um, safe mode of the PS3. From here, it is safer to update your PS3 using this uh, procedure. So just connect your controller to your PS3 using the USB cable. Click on the PS button and uh, choose system update. Here you can go ahead and update your PS3 safely. Now what if your PS3 is uh, now updating and suddenly and in the middle of that update, uh, your PS3 gets an error. So this is the part where you have uh, some hardware issues on your PS3. So carefully check the error message and just Google the error message. You may have uh, some issues with the Bluetooth module or the, um, the Blu-ray drive of the PS3 or the hard drive of the PS3. In that case, you will have to fix those issues first before the update can proceed. Actually, uh, most of the errors are or can easily uh, be fixed unless the 8002F1F9. That error message means that your PS3 has some issues with the uh, Bluetooth module. You will have uh, to uh, bring your PS3 first uh, to a uh, technician and have the Bluetooth module fixed before you can uh, proceed with the update. If you have a uh, broken uh, Blu-ray drive, then unfortunately you will have to uh, uh, have it replaced first. But if uh, you are on uh, CFW already, all you have to do is just choose uh, this specific update file because if you are on CFW, there is a no BT update or no Bluetooth update. There is uh, also no Blu-ray drive update. So if you have a specific condition on your PS3, all you have to do is just download and install the right update. So this will be it. So if you still have uh, some errors or if you encounter uh, some issues that we failed to discuss, just uh, share them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And if you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And again, this is Ali and I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.